Today, we're going to talk about a deeper topic where we're going to talk about emotional eating and how we're going to conquer it once and for all. So number one is that we need to identify why you are eating. So if you find yourself standing with the fridge or the pantry door open, ask yourself, am I actually hungry or am I just looking for something to do? Maybe you can start cleaning your house. Maybe you can do some paperwork for work, grow your side hustle, or you can start doing something productive. Then when you're done that task, let's see if you're still hungry. Now, before I go on guys, give the video a like. Number two is that you need to track your food and you need to know how many calories you're actually eating. So if you aren't in a low caloric deficit and your calories have been on point for at least three days, then you won't be feeling hungry. You're just looking for something to fill time. You could be bored, whatever the reason is, because we all know that if you're hitting your calories, you're getting all your macros, your body just doesn't need it. It's already fed. Number three, and this is a fun one for me, is that we need to change the narrative on how we do celebrations. If something good happens to you or a friend, maybe it's a birthday, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't necessarily mean that we always have to go out to eat. It costs time, money, and notches on our belts. So why can't we go for maybe a walk and talk? Why can't we just go for coffee versus having a giant meal? Can we have fun flavoring our water and just focus on the company versus focusing on the food? If we're constantly eating, how are we connecting? There's no way that we can talk and eat at the same time. I mean, you can, but I don't recommend it. Have your fridge ready. Having healthy snacks ready to go. You have your proteins cooked so that all you need to do is pair it with whatever sides that you want. Have a rule that if you open the fridge or pantry door, you have to drink one cup of water immediately. When you drink this one cup of water, you're gonna feel more full and your hunger's going to go down. Then last but not least, don't ever stuff yourself and don't ever starve yourself. You need to enjoy the foods that you love, but you just need to enjoy them on a food budget. Now I'm not talking about eating in moderation. I'm talking about actually tracking your food and eating within your budget. Those are two different things. So there we have it guys, a bit of a deeper topic, but I think a lot of us, we just allow our emotions or our boredom to overcome our goals and then we eat the foods that we don't want and then we end up regretting it. So today I gave you five tips on how you're gonna be able to control your emotional eating or your boredom eating, which is identifying why you're eating, is that you need to be tracking your foods just to make sure that you're actually fed. Then we need to start changing the narrative on how we celebrate, have your fridge ready to go with healthy snacks and high protein foods. And then most importantly is that you should never stuff and you should never starve. If you've given this video a like, thank you. If you haven't, give the video a like right now and we'll see you on the next video.